Well, hey everybody, this is Kevbo Jones with the wonderful world of baseball cards. The end of the year is almost here. 2021 has been quite interesting to say the least. And this is probably going to be my second to last video of the year. thought I'd just do a little 2021 raw card rummage recap. Uh, this was some stuff that, that has yet to be sorted and that I've kind of picked up on and off probably over the last year. It's a, definitely an interesting, kind of diverse assortment of cards. It really shows the collector in me. Um, so I thought we'd just get to it. First, for purely pop culture purposes, uh, the 19 or 2020 Panini Prism Racing, Brandon Brown, uh, red, white, and blue. Um, rookie, uh, let's go Brandon. I uh, had to pick that up. Uh, 2020 Luis Robert, Bowman's Best, Refractor. Just thought this was fun. I got this really, really cheap. I got a lot of faith in Robert. I think he's an electric kind of catalyst type player. Uh, might be a Kenny Lofton type player. Um, pick that up. This is great. Uh, picked this up back in January, I think, at the LCS. 95 Fleer Metal Reggie. Uh, just has some great shine. Got the throwback Packer uniforms. Um, just thought that was a super, super fun card. Uh, 95 Fleer Metal Reggie White. Uh, 2013 SP Authentic Tony Snell Auto. Uh, from my alma mater, uh, UNM. And uh, although he never really panned out in the pros, I think he's still playing somewhere. But uh, Tony Snell was a big player for the Lobos back in the day. And I wish he would have stayed one more year. A rare autograph sighting for me too, as I don't normally do aut autos. Uh, this was a LCS pickup, uh, I believe this summer, I think. Just love it because he's in his Lobos uniform. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, this is fun. 95 score summit. Brett Favre. Uh, just couldn't resist it with that shine. It's so good. So much fun. Um, I don't know what you'd call these these days. But uh, pretty fun nonetheless. Uh, here's a pair uh, these are 98 Flare Showcase. Um, I got a few more of these too, but uh, I just thought I'd feature the uh, John Elway and Jerry Rice. These came along with this. Uh, LCS, he knows I love to dig through the, the scraps. And uh, I found these and I just thought they were absolutely beautiful cards. Beautiful, beautiful cards. I need a farv of this goals for 2022. Uh, this is interesting, something I kind of do on the side. Um, I like to collect, like, I guess, alt sports type player, uh, athletes, like surfing and things like that. Um, big, big subculture of people who are big surfing fans. I learned that this summer when I was out in California. So I picked up this 2018 lenticular uh, Tia Blanco card from Goodwin Champions. I just thought it was really cool. Um, I picked up some other surfing cards too after I got back from California in September. Uh, I just thought that thought it was really cool, and uh, yeah, I picked up that Tia Blanco. Uh, the, and these lenticulars are super sharp. Tiger one would be really cool from that for sure. Uh, Bill Monroe, father of bluegrass music. Uh, this is a CMA or MCA Hall of Fame card. I think this is from like the early 90s, maybe like 1993, uh, 1994 even somewhere in there. But uh, Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass music. Um, we'll call that the uh, Bill Monroe rookie card there. Uh, here's a great Marley uh, I just call this the Songs of Freedom card. This is from a Marley set. Um, it's like a foil. I just thought it was really, really cool. Thought it was really, really cool. So I'll add him next to Bill Monroe. Kind of appropriate. 
So you can kind of see it's a wide variety of stuff. Here's a 2018 Contenders uh, Denzel Ward and Jair Alexander card. Uh, it's too bad that uh, Alexander's been hurt this year. And I don't want to say he's lost his job to Razul Douglas, but uh, uh, Alexander's a beast of his own, and Denzel Ward's one of the best young corners in the game. Um, picked this up, thought it was kind of fun, something a little different. Uh, this is probably not that popular, but uh, picked up an OJ rookie. Figured I wanted one of those for the collection, the infamous OJ. Uh, 1970 tops OJ. We're not going to put OJ up there. Um, here's a cool card uh, from, I believe, 2020 Goodwin. Uh, Fanimation. Uh, Bianca Andrescu. She was the 2019 U.S. Opens winner um, for tennis. And then, unfortunately, these last few years, she's been hobbled by injury. But I saw her at a tournament in early 2019 uh, the uh, BNP Pariba Open in Indian Wells, which she won that as well. Um, and just a great young player, and I thought this Fanimation card was kind of cool. So we'll throw Bianca up there next to Marley. Uh, 2020 Prism, Cracked Ice, uh... Diana Taurasi. I just thought this was a great looking card. This was an LCS pickup. Um, just, you know, love the cracked ice. I thought the Taurasi was a, was a nice addition. Her prism rookie, so to speak. Ah, another Lobo. Uh, this is 2000 Pinnacle. Erlacher. Kind of a foil card. Again, I love it because he's in his Lobos uniform. Uh, he and I were, were in school around the same time. Uh, contemporaries, so to speak. And uh, I don't know, we might have even had a class with Paul Hutton um, uh, back in the day, the history professor. But uh, there's uh, old Erlacher. We're going to put him with uh, Tony Snell for our Lobos, uh, Lobos Hall of Fame there. Uh, this is fun. Um, 1995 Skybox Emotion. Michael Jordan wearing the 45. And then this is just so cool because, you know, you see there it says Air Jordan. And uh, this was kind of his comeback, Skybox Emotion. Um, shout out to uh, Tiffany uh, who turned me on to this one. Great card. Great card. A uh, little vintage checking in here. Had to pick this up for my last card hall of, or my Hall of Fame set for uh, 1956 tops. This is freshly added in the last month or so. 56 tops, Gil Hodges. I'm uh, gonna send this off to SGC for my uh, 1956 tops Hall of Fame set. I got the Mini Minosos as well, but that's uh, I had that from when I was a kid. Uh, just a couple more here. Uh, picked this up out in California, uh, 1969 Tops, Gale Sayers. Just thought this was a great looking card. Um, really nice, uh, really nice looking Sayers. Uh, 1969 Tops, Gale Sayers. The only Gale Sayers card I have in my collection. Uh, but I just love it. I love this set. I love those full color backgrounds, kind of throwback to the 1958 top set. Got the logos, which is cool. I uh, really like that card. Let's see if we can sneak old Gale on there. Uh, this one was fun. Um, picked up a Nick Chubb auto. Again, a, another rare auto appearance. I just thought this card was really cool. I'm a big fan of Nick Chubb. His season's been, it's been not been a typical Nick Chubb season, I think because of COVID and, and uh, just the, the Browns. He's, I think he had an injury and, and, and I don't know. Now he's, but when they were feeding him the rock on Sunday or on Saturday against Green Bay, which is what they should always be doing is feeding Chubb the rock. Um, Browns got back in that game and uh, darn near won it. So we'll throw that in there. Old Nick Chubb. 
It's a sticker auto, but I don't know. I just thought it was cool. That was really cool. And then last but not least, a custom car. Well, we'll do these and then I'll do the custom. Um, these were probably my two biggest raw pickups of the year. I got to get them back in their binder, but um, I completed my 1964 Topps Giants set. And I got the Sandy Koufax, which is one of the two biggest short prints in the set. Um, so I added the Koufax. And I added the final card of the set for me, uh, the May. No, the Koufax was the final, but uh, the Willie Mays uh, short print as well to complete my 1964 Topps Giants set. So, um... Those were uh, probably my two biggest, some a couple of my biggest pickups of the year, honestly. Because um, you can tell I've been getting smalls here, small stuff. Um, haven't been really breaking the bank on anything. Um, and like I said, this is just kind of a rummage. Um, that stuff that's yet to be filed, but there's definitely stuff here that's been, you know, picked up throughout the year. And then last but not least, I'm going to take this out of its. Uh, out of its one or out of its superior fit right now but i had a custom card made by rp vintage sports cards um this fernando valenzuela card um it's his 1986 tops it's got the wrapper back there it's uh, kind of funny it's a one of one you can see he cuts the wrappers um and it's kind of got like a 3d effect to it um, he's on Twitter. He does some great stuff. RP Vintage Sports Cards. So um, we'll throw Fernando up there. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for getting through this one with me. Just kind of a fun, very raw rummage of some stuff that I picked up over the last year. Kebbo Jones, Wonderful World of Baseball Cards. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to do a PSA video. Later.